Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to learn the binary equivalent of decimal number 4.625 is what? Here we have been given with the decimal number with the fraction. Here you can see we have got the whole number and after the decimal point we have got the fractional part. In order to convert this whole number, we have a separate procedure. In order to convert this fractional part, we have got the separate procedure. So let us separate it. Let me write four first. Then we'll follow the decimal to binary conversion procedure. Let us continue with step number one. Divide the given decimal number by two. So I have to divide this number by two. Two twos are four. Step two says note the quotient and the remainder. So here quotient is two and remainder will become zero. Step three says repeat step one and step two until quotient becomes zero. So I have to go on divide this particular number till the quotient becomes zero. So two ones are two. Here remainder is zero. I cannot divide one by two because one is less than two. As per basic mathematical rule says that when the numerator is less than denominator, then the numerator act as a remainder and quotient becomes zero. Step four says the first remainder is called least significant digit. So here the first remainder is least significant digit and the last remainder is called most significant digit. The binary equivalent of the number can be written from MSD to LSD. So we'll have to write it from bottom to top. Here I can write 4 to the base 10 is equal to 1 0 0 to the base 2. Now let us move on to the fractional part. So 0 0.625 can be converted using decimal fraction to binary conversion. So let us take the first step. It says multiply the given decimal fraction by 2. So we are going to take here three columns multiply by 2. This is first column. Next second column is carry and the third column will become the product. Step 2 says note the carry and product. So we need to multiply the fractional part that is 0 0.625 into 2. So second step says note the carry and the product. So I'll write here 0 0.625 into 2. 2 5s are 10, carry 1, 0, 2 2s are 4, plus 1 is 5, 2 6s are 12. So carry 1 and 2 is here, 2 0s are 0 and 1 carry as it is and then decimal point. You can note that here we have got a whole number. So this whole number will be taken as carry and the remaining part will be taken it as the product that is 0 0.625. 250. Now make it 0. Step 3 says repeat step 1 and step 2 until product becomes 0. So we have to continue multiplying this particular product by 2. So now I am going to write the product 0 0.250 into 2. So multiply this product by 2 again. 2 0s are 0, 2 5s are 10, carry 1 0, 2 2s are 4 plus 1 it will become 5 next two zeros are zero and the decimal point here you can note we have got zero in place of the whole number here carry will be zero and the product will be 0 0.500 once again we need to multiply this 0 0.500 into 2 so multiply it by 2 two zeros are zero two zeros are zero two fives are ten carry one 0, 2 zeros are 0 and this carry 1 as it is and here we have, we have got the decimal point. Here you can note again we got the whole number. So whole number is taken as carry and the product is 0 0.000. Now you can see that the product is 0. We have to stop multiplying. In some of the fractional part you may not get the product 0 even if you multiply by 2 several times you can round it off to certain digits after three or four digits you can stop it next we'll go for step number four the first carry is called msd here the first carry is called most significant digit and the last carry is called 
LSD, least significant digit. The binary equivalent of the number can be written from MSD to LSD. So that is from top to bottom, which is exactly opposite to that of the decimal to binary conversion. So here we can write this fractional part as 0 0.625. That is the given uh, decimal fraction to the base 10 is equal to we have to write first 0 point this 0 point as it is 0.625 what we got 101 here we'll write 101 to the base 2 now we are going to write 4.625 to the base 10 is equal to so 4 is what 4 is 100 after 4 we have got decimal point 0.625 can be written as 101. So here I'm going to write 101 to the base 